Hello everyone, I am uh, Dr. Sharad Babu Nilagiri, Consultant Orthopedic Surgeon and a Joint Replacement Surgeon working at Care Hospital High Tech City. So today uh, I want to discuss about a condition called avascular necrosis of hip. Why? Because uh, earlier we should, um, we should have seen these uh, patients who are having hip pain. Most commonly avascular necrosis comes in the hip joint. Avascular necrosis means necrosis of the uh, femoral head, that ball. Uh, with that what happens, it, uh, shape of the ball is uh, will be changed because of the necrosis and uh, with that severe pain will be then, there in the joint, movement restrictions will be there in the joint. So earlier what, before COVID what uh, we used to say is there is this 50 percent of this condition will occur in patients without any cause. So and uh, few patients who are using uh, steroids for longer durations and uh, patients who are having a history of trauma uh, with that any dislocations in future in those patients we commonly used to see the avascular necrosis but after covid the incidence of avascular necrosis increased drastically lot of patients who are affected with covid are suffering from hip pains so the we don't know the exact pathology whether it is related to uh, vaccination or related to covid disease per se but after the covid once they got affected with the covid we have seen lot of considerable increase in this uh, number of avascular necrosis of hip so patients who are having a hip pain and uh, who are not able to put complete weight on their lower limb because of the hip pain and who are having a restriction in the movements of the hip joint and not able to sit cross leg as what they used to do before they need a proper evaluation so as this avascular necrosis will not be seen completely in early x-rays x-ray findings we can't see in a stage one of the avascular necrosis mri uh, will help us to rule out whether the avascular necrosis is there or not so depending on the stage of the disease we can treat this condition so if it is in a stage 3 or stage 4 then definitely patients will have a lot of pain there will be a lot of restriction in the joint movements so what we offer to the patient is a hip replacement surgery that is the best solution once it is in a stage 3 stage 4 so but if we can evaluate or if we can find the patient um, in a stage 1 stage 2 if we can uh, if the patients will go for early evaluation then we can avoid the hip replacement surgery by doing a simple surgery like core decompression so reducing the pressure in the head and giving stem cells or prp into the joint into the uh, femoral head so instead of going for a hip replacement neglecting not evaluating before uh, you can come for a doctor come to come come to an orthopedic surgeon for evaluation with a minimal examination definitely we can find out whether the avascular necrosis is there or not and MRI will definitely will guide us so early evaluation is the key factor here so uh, to avoid the hip replacement surgery uh, better to go to an orthopedic surgeon and evaluate early thank you so much